So Notion has been coming out with the upgrades thick and fast recently and the one that I'm really, really valuing right now is the board view, which just allows us to access and store and use our information so much more uh, in a user-friendly way, in a way that supports us every single day. And I've been using it in my timetable just recently, so my, my timetable super interactive, uh, links in there to all the relevant information I need to have to hand when I'm planning my days the night before, or when I'm in the thick of the day, teaching. So I'm gonna jump into Notion right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how I've got this set up. But first, just really, really wanna to emphasize to you, in the description of the video below, you can jump in there, you can grab uh, this template as part of my whole Notion Teacher Planner for 2022-23. It's all available through the link in uh, the description of the video, so jump down there and grab it. Maybe after you've watched the end of the video where I'm gonna show you right now, I've got this timetable set up. So I was looking at our screens here right now at my Notion window. So what I've got here is uh, the table view of my timetable. Perhaps a conventional way we can see but bunch of properties there. It's the same uh, period by period planner that I've done in all my other videos. In this table view, got some 20 something different properties in the table. Uh, loads of information there. Uh, maybe too much and stuff that's maybe not entirely relevant. We'll look at this here. With the Notion board view now, I've got this lovely crisp uh, view of my week uh, and the days that I've got coming up. So I can look in here and I know that on Monday, for example, period one, I'm not teaching, but periods two, five, and six, here we are. I've got these lessons here, and the information is all in here. And look, so taking like September the 12th, period two, for example, here we are. You know, the class we're teaching, we know when we're teaching them, we start at 9.45, period two. Uh, the topic is differentiation, and the main resource that we're planning on using for that. Uh, lesson is our integration versus differentiation and then I can very quickly say right I've done the register brilliant there it is it's done um, and it's ticked and the resources are right there at our fingertips we can just pop on through uh, for example the the top the the resource is right there it's available to us this is a bit of a joke resource but the point is the same isn't it that and we can add further resources to that lesson if we so wish uh, resources for lesson where is it here oh let's go back i'm gonna add more resources i can come in here differ yeah Okay, for example, I've got this nice resource there that I like for that lesson. Perfect, it's there. It's right at my fingertips. I, mean, I know where, or I know what class I'm teaching, I know what time I'm teaching them at, I know what resources I'm using. I've got a little note there, have I taken the register? Yes, I have. And it's just perfect that it works so, so well, isn't it? And look, I've got a filter set here just to hide everything that we've already taught because I'm not, you know, in this view, I'm only interested in what I'm teaching today and in future days. It's just perfect for that. And listen, I probably don't need to be thinking at this stage what I'm teaching in future weeks. So again, I can just jump up there and extend the filter. Uh, we'll add that to an advanced filter and then we'll say, right, okay, add filter. We, uh, tw the date is before for one week from now, okay? Just so we're not, so the other information I've got here and then we can hide the empty groups. All right, group, hide the empty groups. There we are. Okay, so they're now hidden. Oh, they should be hidden. Subgroups, hide empty groups. Yep, get them hidden. And there we have it. All right. So we've got this board view of our lessons as a timetable. And we compare that to what I've done in my previous video where I had uh, these separate columns and then we'd maybe need to extend the columns left and right. Um, it's just options, isn't it? It's options. But I am maybe thinking that the structure of this, of the board view versus the different columns maybe what I'm going to be moving towards. I'm going to be trying over the next couple of weeks. Super grateful to Notion for coming up with this 
these um, editable cards in the board view while we're actually using the cards. Uh, it's just so, so useful. So thank you Notion and thank you to you guys for watching again. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Please remember, jumping into that description, downloading the template as part of my whole Notion teacher plan for 2022-23. And I will see you again next week. Thanks a lot.